I would like to welcome you all in this series of video lectures on data structures I'll be covering the important topics on data structures starting from linked list okay my name is Sunil Dimal and in the next sequence of lectures we'll be talking about various data structures so in this lecture we would be particularly interested in learning about linked list okay now what is a list list is nothing but the collection of items or elements right now you all may be aware of array right array is in collection of homogeneous element that is also a list now how is linked list different from arrays okay in linked list as the name suggests each and every element is being linked via a pointer Okay, so each, each and every element is linked via a pointer, right? In a linked list, each and every element is called as a node, right? Each element in linked list, that is each node in linked list, has two components the first component is called as data and the second one is called as the link so each element in a linked list is called as a node each node has two components or two parts the first part is called as the data or information and second one is the link to the next element or next node right so now let us create a linked list with five elements okay and let those five elements be 8 6 minus 2 0 and 4 so let me create a linked list with this five elements okay so let's do it fine so as I said each element in a linked list is a node right each node has two parts the first one is the element now the first one here would be 8 right the next component of this particular node, node number 1, would be nothing but the link to the next node. So it is linking to the next node. So let this be the next node. That is 6. So it is element 6. Now this would be linking to the next node. Right? Let the next node be located somewhere here. Right? This is minus 2 for example in this example. Right? This is linking to the next node which is nothing but 0 right and now this is linking to the next node which is nothing but 4 right now if you observe it closely 4 is the last element in this list so four, this is the last node first node second third fourth and the last node right now last node is not pointing to anything it's not linking to anything right so it would be it would have a value called as null indicating that this is the last node node and it does not have any link it is not pointing to anything else right so this is the linked list if you observe it closely right this is the collection of elements or nodes and each and every nodes 
are scattered they are scattered here and there in the memory they are not sequential right unlike in array suppose i create an array for this or array would look something like this right with five elements 8 6 minus 2 0 and 4 each and every element in an array they are continuously they are it's called as contiguous memory allocation wherein they are allocated memory in a consecutive manner one they come one after another right but physically inside the memory the linked list okay each and every node is scattered here and there and they are actually connected via link right via link so link list is very simple okay it's a collection of items collection of nodes in which each node is interconnected via link now this link is nothing but a pointer fine now if you observe this array right i have said that it has something called as contiguous memory allocation okay contiguous memory allocation for array so if i consider so this is an integer array right so suppose this is a int a with five elements okay this is a Suppose I am assuming that each integer is a 4 bytes. So size of int I am assuming to be 4 bytes. So let the size of int 4. Right? If size of int is 4 and if the first element has the address 1000, the next element will have the address 1004 because 1000 to 1003 is reserved for the first element 4 bytes is reserved for this so this would have 1000 8 1000 12 and 1016 if you observe they are sequentially they are sequential memory right consecutive one after another but in the linked list right it may not be like so right the memory the address memory address for each element may not be sequential may not be contiguous right it may be something like this the first element if the address is thousand right and if size of it is four bytes in case of array next would always be thousand four but in case of linked list next next element or next node may have a different address like for example two thousand it is possible the next one can be one thousand forty six forty eight possible right this one can be thousand fifty two possible this can be six thousand Eight. This is possible, right? So therefore, it is this non-contiguous memory allocation scattered here and there. Okay. So this is linked list. Now we are going to learn how to implement a linked list in C. Okay. So the next, the next lecture would be on the implementation of linked list on C.